Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will be talking about how many sperm need to get pregnant. Are you trying to get pregnant? Are you wondering if fertility treatments can help? Or maybe you have just curious about the number of sperm it takes to make a baby. Whatever the reason may be, this video will provide all the details you need to know. But before getting started, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep following our videos on health and well-being. So here we start today's video. So how many sperm does it take to get pregnant? Well, the answer is it depends. The average amount of sperm in an ejaculation is between 40 and 300 million. It takes millions of sperm to even have chance of fertilizing an egg and only one sticky swimmer actually succeeds. But don't worry, even if your partner's sperm count is lower than average, there are still many things that you can do to get pregnant. For example, if your partner's sperm count is low, fertility treatments can help. Some methods include IUI and IVF. IUI involves a doctor placing millions of sperm directly into the uterus, increasing the chances of them reaching the egg. And IVF on the other hand involves retrieving eggs from a woman's ovaries and mixing them with sperm in a lab. And then embryos are transferred into the woman's uterus in hopes of creating a successful pregnancy. Many infertility clinics have success rates higher than those of natural conception. So these treatments are worth considering if you are struggling to get pregnant. It is also important to pay attention to your daily habits if you are trying to become pregnant. Smoking, drinking alcohol and being overweight can all reduce your chances of getting pregnant as can using certain medications as well. Make sure to talk to your doctor about which medications you should avoid. It is also important to note that sperm motility or the ability of the sperm to move and swim quickly through the female reproductive tract is just as important as sperm count. You may have a high sperm count, but if the majority of the sperm not motile, it will still be difficult for one sperm to make it all the way to the egg and fertilize it. Finally, make sure you and your partner know the best times to have intercourse. This is called timed intercourse and it helps maximize the chances of getting pregnant. So to conclude, one sperm is enough to fertilize an egg, but millions are needed to give that single sperm a good chance. If your sperm count is low, fertility treatments are available and it is also important to pay attention to your lifestyle and use timed intercourse when trying to get pregnant. So that's it for today. We hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.